you know, I need to protect yours. And they would say, it's worth the risk. It wasn't worth the risk. Obviously very difficult, difficult to listen to. He lost his son after his son received uh, the vaccine. And why are stories like these not really being told? I mean, I think the, the, the fact is the children, the risk that children face from COVID is so small that almost any risk from the vaccine itself might cut against recommending the vaccine. I think it should be something that's left up to the parents and, their, and, the, and the pediatricians that they have. Like you might have a child with special needs that have, uh, have some additional risk from COVID. It's really a be risk benefit that's best done at the individual level. Uh, not telling people, th telling people that the vaccine is entirely safe is actually really harmful to public health. It's not entirely safe. I mean, I think it's largely safe, but it's not entirely safe. And you have stories like this, it's just pull at your heartstrings. No medicine is perfectly safe. Um, you have to tell people honestly what the risks are and then let them make choices. These mandates are absolutely insane. They're destroying the trust in public health. And we'll get many more stories like this. Uh, I'm, I'm worried that other vaccines that are actually useful and important for children, people will stop trusting. Uh, that's a terrifying prospect, but I think that's really well well said. I'm, I'm afraid of that as well. And Dr. Malone, there was an exchange on Capitol Hill this week between uh, the CDC director, uh, Walensky, and Senator Richard Burr, which I think is quite illuminating about what this administration, what the CDC itself thinks about natural immunity. Watch. What does the science say about the durability of natural immunity and when can we expect answers on its benefit? CDC continues to recommend that people who have been previously infected get their COVID-19 vaccine. The, the data on uh, the infection-induced immunity, some of which you quoted, are murkier. They rely on retrospective studies, observational studies. Our guidance uh, continues to recommend that children who've been previously infected actually get vaccine. Dr. Malone, your response to her. So the CDC study that was half-baked, which recently came out in an attempt to address this, is the only one out of over 100 that I'm aware of that indicates that natural immunity is not better than uh, vaccination. In fact, the vaccination on top of previous infection and natural immunity actually confers higher risk to patients than uh, vaccination in the naive individual. I myself am an example of that. After two jabs of Moderna and I had had COVID in February of 2020, I developed hypertension with systolic up to 230, restless leg syndrome, narcolepsy, etc. These are known risks. And regarding Dr. Fauci's comment, there's no other word for it. That duplicitous is the nicest thing I can say. Doctors, thank you very much. And the American